Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 414. Hypothalamus. What are the responsibilities of the hypothalamus? The responsibilities of the hypothalamus includes thirst and water balance, adenohypothesis control, Adenohypothesis is also known as the anterior pituitary. Hypothalamus also uses the neurohypothesis, which is known as the posterior pituitary, and that releases hormones that are produced by the hypothalamus. Other responsibilities of the hypothalamus includes hunger, autonomic regulation, temperature regulation, and sexual urges. What are the two inputs received by the hypothalamus? The hypothalamus receives input from the OVLT, which stands for Organum Vasculosum of the Lamina Terminalis as well as input from the area postrema. What is the responsibility of the OVLT? The responsibility of OVLT is to sense the changes in osmolarity. What is the responsibility of area postrema? The responsibility of area postrema is to respond to emetics. And one thing to note about OVLT and area postrema is that these two areas are not protected by the blood-brain barrier. What makes antidiuretic hormone? Antidiuretic hormone is made by the supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus. What makes oxytocin? Oxytocin is made by the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus. Even though the ADH and oxytocin are made by the hypothalamus, where are they stored and released from? ADH and oxytocin are stored and released by the posterior pituitary, which is also known as the neurohypothesis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.